Hi, I'm Malcolm. And I'm Rachel. We're two Canadians living on our 39-foot main ship trawler, living an adventure of a lifetime. We invite you to follow along as we travel 6,000 miles through Canadian and U.S. waterways around America's Great Loop. morning. It's 6 a.m. We're in Elizabeth City and we had a nice evening here. We got here I guess around dinner time and had a lovely visit with some loopers. Went out to a local tavern and then we crashed after that. We were pretty tired after a long day um, but it's early morning and we're rafted up against somebody so we want to leave so they have a chance to leave. We're gonna head over to start the Dismal Swamp and hopefully stay at the visitor center which is just after the first lock so we're gonna head over to the first lock it's about two hours to get there from here at our speed um, and it's a beautiful morning it's quite cool so we've got our puffy coats on but it will warm up as we go and so we're just getting ready to cast off from our dock here hope you're having a great day The Great Dismal Swamp is a large swamp in the coastal plain region of southeastern Virginia and northeastern North Carolina, between Norfolk, Virginia and Elizabeth City, North Carolina. The park was established in 1974 and at 750 square miles or 1940 square kilometers, it is one of the largest pieces of undeveloped land in the eastern United States. You might ask, why is it named Dismal Swamp? European settlers referred to dismals, which was a common term for swamps or areas where water stood for long periods of time. Lake Drummond is a large circular natural freshwater lake located in the heart of the swamp. The canal runs along the eastern edge of Great Dismal Swamp. The canal is 22 miles long and was completed in 1805 to provide a pathway for trade between Chesapeake Bay, Virginia and the Albemarle Sound in North Carolina. The amber-colored water is preserved by tannic acids from the leaves and bark of the juniper, gum and cypress trees, prohibiting growth of bacteria. The area around the swamp is covered in peat soil which can be from 3 to 15 feet deep.
So we're going down the dismal swamp. Malcolm says we have three feet under us, which is still pretty good. And uh, the lock master was really nice, had six boats go through South Mills Lock. And then he got in his car and he drove to the bridge and lifted the bridge for us to get through at South Mills. And there's a road beside us. I can hear some traffic going by here, but it's beautiful. The, tree, the uh, birds are singing. The sun is coming through the trees in the morning as the sun comes up. And we're just staying back from the boat in front so that if it sort of mixes up logs in the water, we don't hit them. But we can see a lot better when we leave a bit of distance between us. Beautiful morning to come through the Dismal Swamp. The dismal swamp it's beautiful it is what do you think oh it smells good it's uh not windy wavy it's just sunny and green it's beautiful actually yeah it's uh reminds us a lot of the canals in canada yeah parts of the canals in canada and malcolm nice. just pointed at a tree what is it that's a butternut tree. malcolm's always looking for butternut trees I'm pretty sure it is anyway but yeah there's a lot of nice trees and i see lily pads and yeah, it's gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. This is a this is a really nice stop. It's it slows you down. It forces you to take a little bit of a breath because you can't go fast in here. That's you just, right. You just gotta take it slow. Yeah. And uh, that's the kind of boating we like to do. It's just nice and easy. And we've been going a little bit mad the last week or so just to get up to a rendezvous in uh, Norfolk, an yeah. AGLCA rendezvous, which uh, we've heard lots of good things about. Mm -hmm. And um, we're close enough now that we can just take it easy and uh, enjoy the cruise. There's no real obstacles in front of us. The Albemarle was done yesterday. A little bit lumpy, but not bad. Perfectly and, manageable. Oh yeah. And uh, now we've just got calm waters in front of mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. and uh, we're just gonna enjoy it. And it's really nice actually. There's several boats in front of us, but we've purposely hung back. So there's lots of space between us and the boat in front, which allows the water to calm down. We can see what's in the water, if there's any logs. And so far we've had anywhere from three and a half to four feet underneath us, which is actually more than I was expecting. I don't know about you, yeah, but... No, it's more than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, they did say for, I think for six foot draft and, and less can come through here. So we kind of thought there might be only a foot below us, yeah. but it's actually it's pretty good. It it's is. Good. It's, uh, and no it, big logs. You know, it reminds us a little bit of the Rideau Canal, our yeah. boating grounds, because uh, the trees are right to the edge. Um, it's a narrow canal. It's narrow. You don't really hear or see anything else. Yeah. It's just boating. So it's uh, the canals aren't like narrow all the way, but there are parts that are narrow. So it's very beautiful. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's going to be a really nice trip. And I'm not sure if I said it before, but I hope you're having a great day. water is very tea colored and I believe that's the tenons from the leaves and things that are deposited into the water. To the Dismal Swamp Welcome Center and there's a 150 foot dock that we can stop at and there's some walking trails and things nearby um, so there's room for three or four boats and all the rest of the boats they do want to welcome them um, but they have to raft so I'm curious to see how many of these boats will stop and how many are planning to continue on along the rest of the Dismal Swamp so we're looking forward to exploring this area going for a few walks just having some nice relaxing time here in the Dismal Swamp. We've arrived at the Dismal Swamp Welcome Center and I think we can stay here up to 48 hours but it's a really nice spot. There'll be some trails, uh, some facilities here, very quiet, 
and it took us about four hours I think. We had a few slower zones and a lock to go through at South Mills and uh, I think it was about 20 nautical miles. So not a long day today uh, but we're here and you can hear us people moving their engines are just getting settled in. So some boats were already here we had to raft with them and then they're going to leave and we'll be able to move right to the dock. The Dismal Swamp State Park provides numerous opportunities for school field trips and recreational activities like hiking and biking trails, fishing, paddling, picnicking, and bird watching. <music> 